Okay, everyone, we are taking a first look at Lonely Mountains uh, Downhill. We are playing on the Nintendo Switch. Keep in mind, this was a copy provided by the publisher. This came out a few days ago. Um, we're going to take a first look at it. This is a bike game. Si bi bicycling. A motorbike bicycling, bicycling game where you go downhill. Uh, we played, oh, there was a game that we played last year, which is kind of a similar concept, but it was 3D. But I'm not going to be able to remember the name of it now. It's somewhere on the channel. Uh, I, I was meant to make a mental note of it before we started. Um, get started with D. But it was like full proper 3D engine, not this kind of graphic style. Um, the reason I went into gameplay options is uh, there's a apparently the devs told me that there's a patch that is going to be coming out that is going to remove the VSync option. I don't know if it does anything right now. And also, there's a bug in the game where the steering controls can only be changed from the main menu, uh, not from. Um, not from in the game so keep that in mind okay so let's go for the options let's have a first look at the game it's probably the best way to describe it is actually play okay, so you can customize your rider here Purple bike, we go with that. Progression system, leaderboards on the top. Wow. Okay. Uh, so let's go right into it. Mountains, one of four. Trials unlocked, challenges completed, resting places found. All right. All that is unlocked. Stability, agility, suspension, shock, acceleration. Well, it makes sense. We've only got one rider unlocked, so. Yeah, I was testing this out off stream and the only thing I was really testing was there's two basically control methods. There's one where um, like you got screen based control. So whichever way you move your analog stick is where your bike rider will go. And then left and right is you press left and right, which will just move you left and right. I was playing with that off stream. And again, this is the option that it doesn't change once you select it. You have to go out into the main menu, but they're working on a patch. Um, so just keep that in mind if you're playing at home and you're wondering what's going on. I was testing both. And I think left and right feels faster. Um, that's the only thing I was kind of testing off stream. So yeah, you're the rider. You're going downhill. You got to accelerate. You got to brake. Uh, if you mess up, you... You have a restart button, rinse, repeat, try to set the fastest time. Yeah, there was literally a game we played that came out last year that is Steam only. I don't think it's come to consoles yet, which was this, but not based on this style of graphics. Uh, and then you, uh, you got like a... got a brake and you got like a pedal button and your pedal button there's a stamina bar at the top uh, but once you set your favorite or your preferred type of control should i say this feels like really great to play uh but it does take a while to get used to what set of controls you want i went for the screen based for a while and i, I just couldn't get the feel so as soon as i went to left and right i was like oh this feels much better Oh god. It's 
so it's got that real, real trials thing about it, right? The Ubisoft games trials, but like the trials are like one, it's a motorbike, and two is like you do tricks and stuff. From what I've seen, I've not seen any of the trick stuff. It seems simply about getting downhill, as the name implies, as quick as possible. Like a glove. Oh wait, I gotta say that for a car. Yeah, but they they said they're patching that V-Sync option out. But that's very interesting. I wonder if they left it on, left it on permanently, or that's a weird, interesting option to leave in the menu, right? That's the kind of stuff that, especially on Switch, gamers go nuts about. That wait, whoa, whoa, wait. We can get V-Sync options. In, in Switch games? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't tested enough, but I don't think it does anything. If it did, I'm sure they wouldn't remove it. Alright, hold on. Let me concentrate. Damn it! God. What I learned faster is better, faster is better, faster is better, faster is better. Faster is I told you faster is better. Wait, am I going round in sir? Okay, hold on. Maybe it's like a double loop. All right, I'm terrible at video games. Hold on. Puzzle game, not a racing game. I made it. Don't try to start home. Oh my days, I'm almost crushed there. Where's this checkpoint for the love of... Okay. Wow. Alright, this game definitely feels better when uh, you're like going down hills fast. I'm not trying to navigate. Oh, which way do I go? Right, we'll restart that. I don't know about the um like there's constant screen blur and they're putting like stuff into it into view by removing the blur is kind of off point if you if you don't focus on just your rider and you look any bit more forward i wonder if they're doing that just to maintain like frame rate and to mask performance or they're doing that stylistically
All right, don't fail. Oh, come on. All right, the checkpoints for some of these. Are a little bit far. I don't believe I survived that. Buns of steel. You see everybody, I got like a routine, like 50 squats every morning. That'll help you brush off branches. I'm sorry, I used to actually uh, cycle a lot at one point. Spin class. Three times a week as well. 40 minute sessions. Great workout. <laughs> we could only dream of spring class now, right now, and look now when gym's open again. I'm sorry, I have a camera shit. Alright, don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Huh, I'm trying. Like, should I be trying to go down the hill as fast as possible? Or is this more about, oh, yo, just get down the hill? Because that first set of, um, like, checkpoint one and two is really about, oh, yo, this is, like, kind of easy to navigate. Restart run, continue to menu. That was like, oh, this feels way fun when those oh, you're just going fast down those hills, those bends. But I suppose you just got to learn the course, right? All right. What have we unlocked? Uh, challenges complete. Wait. Uh... They're both new. Unlock out. Okay. Do another one. Let's get right back into it. Wait, is this the same? Is this the same level? Wait, I'm actually kind of curious. Did we unlock a new level? Or let me go back out. Start from checkpoint. Restart run options. Controls. Quit to menu. Unlock a new level. I was unlocked one of 16 challenges complete. Okay, I ha I legit haven't. And it is completed one of 32 resting places found. Resting places found. Okay. Explore, beginner, expert. All right, so we got a rinse and repeat. Okay, let's do this again. I would like to have seen more levels, but it seems like this is what we're gonna check out in this first look, this first mountain. Yeah, like it feels like great skidding your bike around the corner. later on oh no okay.
it definitely gets more oh it's not about the speed you do it's about yo which way are you going There are shortcuts, but if you can brave them, like anywhere you see that green bit, like I feel like it can roll down it rather than. Hold on, let me show you one here. I can go down here rather than going round. I wasn't paying attention there. Or there. Nope, that time was bad. I'm restarting on purpose. But you see where to hold. Oh, I wonder if I can go down here as well. Or I'm kind of curious. But you see where the whole trials aspect comes from it, but just like the other way around, right? Rather than climbing up stuff, you're driving down stuff. Ah, uh, can we not make that bit? All right. Maybe not. You don't have a like an angle. Up to all change. I don't think you do. Yeah, like change, like land on your back wheel kind of thing. Like when you're going fast, the game feels great. Say, you're not going fast a lot. Maybe that's just me though. Ooh. Ow, that's gonna leave a mark. Didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna mash it quick we start. Gosh darn it, turn into god darn it. I should went with Carson. Oh, this was the puzzle section, right? Oh, did I miss it? No, I'm survived. No, I didn't. Hold on. Slow is fast, slow is fast, slow is fast, slow is fast. Oh, I'm lost. No, we're fine. No, we're fine. We're No, I'm lost. No, slow is fast. Slow is fast. Slow is fast. Alright, we're fine. I 
what if that's a shortcut I could take right there? You know what? I'm gonna crash on purpose so I can see. Is it? Is it? Damn it! And then I crashed on it. to do a sharp left turn there. Yes, I definitely... Oh, wait. Have you got a limited amount? What's the, what's the red flashing thing? Best time... Hold on. I'm looking at menus here. Oh, was that try to complete it with the least amount of crashes as possible well i didn't realize that with a perfect it in one go i was uh trying to look for secrets darn brick yeah like i was saying if you're going to be playing this at home one thing i definitely recommend which i spent like 20 minutes more 20, 20 30 minutes doing off stream like uh, decide what control system you like more, like screen based or left and right. Whoa, almost hit a tree. Like a glove. 20 crashes or fewer trials unlocked. Wow. Tw Outfit unlocked. If I needed 21 crashes to unlock the next course, then I did. And I didn't. Hold on. Let's see what we got. If, that, if that's what it is, we'll cut it and we'll come back. So I'll unlock that course. And then we get to see like one more level. Oh, so you got to complete both things before you unlock the next level. All right. Uh, there'll be a cut somewhere here where I complete that level and then I'll off the next mountain. So we get to at least see one more level before we have a cool lot of first look at this game. This is a perfect place to cut it back. Okay. Uh, managed to do that level without crushing one even once <clears throat> yeah all right crash twice uh, if you're going slowly it's actually not that hard to do at all if you're not worried about time um if you're trying to set a pace it's a little bit harder i was like three seconds slower but yeah i crashed twice uh so let's check out one more level okay let's go back a second so i can compare hold on Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's check out this one more mountain and uh, give you a good idea of what this is. This game looks pretty. Looks pretty fun. It is pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty fun when you're going like ooh, when you're going fast though. Like there's certain like in that last level where we saw where it was like oh wait which way do I go? That, that doesn't get fun. Like trying to go fast down the mountain and the way you break and slide and like it feels great. I want more of that, not more of oh wait like this already this this first section of this map already feels ow. But it felt good until, you know, I destroyed my Glutamus Maximus right there. Uh, 
Uh, for those that don't know, Gloomus Maximus is the actual scientific way to refer to your butt box. Or, oh, sorry, your butt ox muscle and butt ox. Actually, crack what you say. <laughs> Alright, sorry. Uh, video games. Oh, my days. I mean, it's only fitting that we talk about Gutemus Maximus while you're playing bike game. Talking of Gluemus Maximus, uh, you know what is very painful? Uh, racing bike seats. So uh, I had a trainer who used to like, I used to do spin class and everything. I was like, dude, why are these spin class bikes? If you've done a 45 minute spin class, every one of you know, anybody who's done spin class, those goddamn seats, they destroy your backside. I was always like, dude, what? why are these seats so painful? So, like, oh, because they're not made for you to sit on. They encourage you to stand and ride. So that's why, that's why they're not comfortable. I said, that's, that's what he said. I don't know if that's true. I'm not a biking expert or anything. But apparently, that's why they, they feel like they're stabbing your cheeks to death and cutting off circulation and hurting your thighs. Because you're meant to be, they encourage you to stand also crashed. I'm just saying. The more you know, okay? If that's totally not true, blame my trainer. Hold on, hold on. See, like I said, that first section was great, but this section one is like, oh no, puzzle around, trying to make that jump. Ah. Takes out some of the, ooh. Takes out some of the fun. I wonder for if section, for sections like that, the under, the other control scheme would be better. I mean, uh, the screen-based control scheme is the default control scheme. I was just having too much trouble with it. Old dog, new tricks, whatever, you know. I was struggling with it, but the default controls are set to screen-based. That goes, that sounds true. Well, old dog, new tricks. No, I know. I know that they're referring to the spiky seat comment. Do you know what? Do you know why it was kind of weird, and I wasn't sure if it was though, because there used to, there used to be people in spin class, or when we was going on like rides, because you could take your own bike, and they would do like sessions where all right, we're gonna go on a twenty mile bike ride, or whatever. Uh, people used to use the gym's bikes, and they could bring their own seats, or even if you're doing spin class, you can bring your own padded seat. Like, wait, doesn't that defeat the whole purpose of what this guy just said to me? The reason my ass, ass is chafed right now is because, you know, you understand? Why are these people bringing padded seats then? You know. Well, I haven't been spin class in a few years. My butt loves me for it. Oh, all right. You know what? Can we stop talking about ass for a second and concentrate on these video games? All right, you know what? Let's go really slow. Really slow camera. All right, and then go really fast. I can't believe I made that jump. I think there's legit sections where it's like, okay, you know what? Ooh, that was the first stutter I had for frame rate. That wasn't my capture. That was the game. Uh, yeah, I think there's legit sections that. All right, you know what? Slow down and. Uh, so slow. Oh, which way did I go? There we are. I don't know what is this coming to everything or is this switch exclusive? I'm not sure. <gasps> okay, that was a uh, booby trap.
Oh god, made it, made it, made it, made it, made it, made it, made it. Oh, I can't. Alright, you know what? We're gonna go slow there. I'm gonna take my own advice that I've been given for the last five minutes. There's some sections that you don't need to go haste and you need to go slow. Maybe that's one of those sections that you was just talking about, mate. I can't believe I just did that. I went slow and I still crashed on that section. Oh dear God, you know what? I'm going fast. No, I'm not. I'm lying. Okay. I'm lying. Come on. Go. go. Yeah, there's definitely... There's definitely, like, bits of the mountain that feel way better to play. And I think this game is... Are you serious? It, it feels way better when you're going faster and breaking and skidding around corners. I don't know if they, maybe they should have designed all the tracks like that rather than, oh wait, there's these sections where it's just like. Or maybe that's just because I suck. Who knows? Who knows? I'm somewhere behind those trees. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, <sighs> cross the finish line, challenge unlocked. I mean, there you have it. I feel like that was a uh, good. First look at lonely mountains downhill. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it works better when it's going fast and like the the tracks are not as hard to navigate. I'm not I'm not sure if Yeah, if the game if the game is trying to tell me, oh wait, no, one time you go fast and the second time is like explore the level and go slow. Um it just feels better when you're like breaking at the last minute, hitting those sharp bends and more like a racing game. Does that make sense? But it could totally be like, no, go slowly, like traverse this mountain downhill, right? Like we've seen that in the kind of those snowboarding games as well, where it's just like, no, get down the mountain. Not it's not about the speed. If it's if I should be playing it one way or the other way, it definitely feels nicer when you have those sections where it's just like, nope, uh, pedal, 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 belt it. Um, got some unlock stuff. Let's have a look while we're here. What did we unlock? Uh... Oh, is that what we unlocked? Rider? Face mask. Oh, kind of makes... Okay, that's too real, okay? Female, male. Okay. Wait, what? Hair? Oh, okay, I was gonna say, wait, what? What hair? 
ponytail helps with aerodynamics okay that's what those uh old graphic card adverts always told me okay helps with water flow okay now we've got to get rid of the helmet hold on okay Fair tech Nine out of ten face your hair color or we'll go with that perfect wait is that legit why i unlocked was it paint jobs there you go we have, now have a matching rider so there you have it that was lonely mountains downhill keep in mind this was a copy provided by the publisher we are playing on nintendo switch i'm not sure what this is out for uh it might be out for other problems i should have checked that up not sure uh, this came out a couple of days ago keep in mind this will be going up as a highlight on youtube and on twitch if you're watching this on youtube or twitch don't forget to hit that follow button turn that notification bell on so you do know when new videos drop drop a like if you enjoyed the video let me know what you thought could you beat my score i doubt it don't even need to answer that question don't forget we stream a couple of times a week on twitch got a discord got twitter uh all that information will be in the description come check us out appreciate it